Governor Chime's last public appearance was at the meeting of Southeast Governor's Forum on September 2012 in Enugu, and since then, he is yet to be seen in public functions in the state. While this continued absence from the public has since degenerated into speculations of his whereabouts and the various stories of his unconfirmed death, residents of Enugu and Coast City State have continued to beg for explanations from those running the affairs of the state on the whereabouts of the performing governor. It will be recalled that a group in Enugu, Save Enugu Group, has asked the acting governor, Sonde Onyebuchi, to explain the whereabouts and the health states of the governor. A member of the group, Ray Naji, said it is very unfortunate that the media managers in the state are viewing their call as unpatriotic and act of betrayal. Obviously, we must have to know the details concerning the governor. Let us know that it's not coming. These are the things we have to know. It is not a situation whereby some individuals will just organize themselves as clique and make it impossible for, the, for other people to know the information concerning the governor, only them that should know. That is not proper. It is not proper at all. And anybody calling anybody name because of what we are doing and what we are saying, the person is not even helping himself, not to talk of helping the state. The situation now on the issue of managing information of the governor's long vacation, as was credited to the Commissioner of Information, Chuks Ugoke, and that of his botched return to the state late last year merely complicated the situation. While Enugu residents are begging for explanation, Silver Bed correspondent was tossed around for several times by the Commissioner for Information, Chuks Ugoke, on the same issue. On the last count, the commissioner booked an appointment for 4 p.m. on Tuesday but switched his phones off at the agreed time. Expressing the same reservation, a professor of constitutional law and a past MBA chairman in Enugu State, Professor Ray Achara, said the information manager shouldn't take the resident as fool. I think these people are not managing this thing properly. If the governor is sick, a governor is a human being and every human being is subject to sickness. If he is sick, we should be told. We in fact, the prayers of the people here in Enugu State might help restore him to health. But it is wrong for people to keep us in the dark. This is a democracy. They shouldn't take us as fools. They shouldn't take us as people who can't handle that information. He went further to challenge the media and the civil society groups to use the opportunity and test the efficacy of the Freedom of Information Act, which he said should be to demand for the letter transmitted to the State House of Assembly by the governor for his vacation and the time frame. The whole state as a collective cannot come out to start questioning these things except through agencies, mouthpieces, broadcast houses, journalists, NGOs. These are people who will ask these questions and they are the ones to trigger, to activate the provisions of the Freedom of Information Act. And I think that where they should direct their efforts to is principally to the letter written to the speaker. It's a public, definitely a public letter. Marking the four months absence of the governor in office today, the convener of Safe Enugu Group, Magzi Okun, said the group has made four demands from the state government, which include a broadcast to the people of Enugu appraising them on the situation of their governor. We also demanded that an, a public, an apology must be made by his government to the people of Enugu State for having told them lies all along. And all those uh, uh, the information managers in government, in his government, who have deceived the people, must be sanctioned immediately. And finally, we requested him to organize, to, uh, that we meet with uh, Khan and the PFN leadership to organize seven days of prayers and fasting. Some observers are of the view that if all is well, as some people are made to understand, Governor Sullivan Chime would have made a statement just as he did when he first slumped at Obara Square during Armed Forces Remembrance Day ceremony. Honora, Animobudu, STV News.